Welcome, my fellow phone buffs, to another episode of Carlos's Bucket List, and today we are going to be watching Monarch Legacy of Monsters official teaser trailer. Let's get it. It's time to watch it. TV. I don't know if this will get to you. I hope so. I can't go back in time and fix all the mistakes I made. But maybe I can leave something for the future. Is that Randa? Godzilla! A legacy. What is Randa? Experience the epic series. The world is on fire. I decided to do something about it. I will explore the mystery. Hopes, dreams, ambitions. The mission was to protect their world. Rodan? And nah, I that wasn't Rodan. Of a secret legacy. It's what we wanted Monarch to be. Instead of chasing monsters. Godzilla! If you come with me, you'll know everything I promise. Yeah. That was my favorite scene of Godzilla 2014. Monarch, Legacy of Monsters. All right. On Apple TV. Okay. November 17th. All right. Now, that was very interesting. Now, what I understand on the plot, what I've seen, that it's going to be telling three different generations of the same character, I think. Well, I know one of the actors, he's from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I know he got a lot of hate for playing one of the characters, Secret Agent. I think that's who he, who he was at the end. I gotta rewatch that. I, I don't really remember that show. But like he got a lot of hate just because of his acting. Pretty stupid, but yeah. And Kurt Russell, I'm pretty sure that's that's him. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like an older version of him. And I don't know the actress's name that they keep showing. The one with the black hair. I guess she's like supposed to be maybe Sorozaro's daughter. Did he have a daughter? I don't remember if he did. I know he had a son, but he dies. I know that. But is this new footage from Kong Skull Island or is this like the latest scenes that they're adding to the show? Because if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Because we all know that Rando dies. He gets eaten by a skull crawler. But that's pretty cool that they're, they're showing POV footage of what took place in Skull Island, which I found pretty cool. I wonder if they're going to show like how they capture Kong too. I'll be, I'll be pretty cool to see. Because I remember at the end of Skull, skull Island, they showed... They showed helicopters showing up to Skull Island and Kong was prepared to fight them. So I wonder if they're going to be showing if Kong gets caught in this. And I'm pretty sure I seen Rodan in there. I'm not talking about the first shot where I thought it was Rodan because I noticed the tail was different. That's not Rodan. I'm talking about like there's this shot in this teaser trailer where there's a creature breaking through some type of building. It looked like Rodan. It looked like he had like the crest behind his head. Oh yeah. And also something I want to mention in the beginning, it shows Godzilla swimming towards an island and i noticed that the trees and the land look similar to like that opening sequence from godzilla 2014 i wonder if that's what that is where it shows them dropping the atomic bomb on top of him i wonder if that's what it is if it is that's gonna be freaking cool to see but at the same time i kind of i don't know how i feel about them showing godzilla's perspective during the atomic bomb i like the human perspective more i really hope that it's just that one shot of Godzilla and I hope that they show perspective of the human characters when once Godzilla gets bombed. Also something that looks really cool is there's this shot in San Francisco where it shows like every building destroyed almost. Godzilla did so much damage there. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, I'm trying to remember. Did the final battle take place in San Francisco? Did it? I'm trying to remember. He, he arrived in San Francisco, destroyed the bridge was there I remember Elizabeth Olsen's character had her son in the building no no he was in the bus she was in the building in there and then Godzilla fights one of the Mudos the male Mudo and I think that's it isn't it and then they leave I think they go somewhere else did the whole movie take place in in San Francisco I don't remember if it did I really gotta rewatch these movies but honestly, this shot of San Francisco where it shows the bridge, if you remove half of the shot and you just keep like the bridge part and the land behind it, it just reminds me of Planet of the Apes. When Caesar crosses the 
Golden Gate Bridge with all the other apes. That's what it reminds me of, especially with the fog there. And I love the different perspectives for Godzilla 2014. That final shot of Godzilla roaring once he breaks the bridge. So awesome. Realistically speaking, him roaring that close to humans, I feel that shouldn't those humans' eardrums pop or explode due to the frequency? Because that is loud. <laughs> And yeah, that was Monarch's Legacy of Monsters. It's coming out on November 17th on Apple TV+. Plus. I don't have it, but probably I'll, I'll probably buy it just to watch this one show. I hope it's this one show, unless they're coming up with like another MonsterVerse show. I know Disney's making a King Kong show, but it's not connected to the MonsterVerse. But I might, I might just buy this so I can just watch it. Also, Prehistoric Planet. I love Prehistoric Planet. I saw the first season. I want to watch the second one. So I might just buy it. Thank you for having the time out of your day to watch my video. What did you think about this teaser? Let me know. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And be sure to let me know what else I should put on my bucket list. Later, guys.